Thousands of people in Ohio experience elder abuse every year. In honor of World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, Matt Damschroeder, Director of Ohio Department of Job and Family Services, is here to talk to us about the resources available to those in need, signs to be looking out for among our loved ones, and how you at home could help. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I think it's important that we start off by talking about the statistics and how common, unfortunately, this is and why it's so important to be aware. Sure. So national studies show that about one in 10 seniors are victims of elder abuse. And so when we think about what that means for Ohio, where we have nearly three million of Ohioans who are over the age of 60, uh, about 25 percent of the state's population if we look at one in ten potentially being victims of elder abuse that's a lot of our family members and neighbors across the state uh, who we need to be looking out for yeah and what are maybe some of those signs that people need to be looking out for unfortunately you know we see these videos um whether they're coming out of a home or, or if they're coming out of a living facility of some sorts you see it way too often. Um, so if you maybe have somebody in your life that you want to know those symptoms or know those signs for, what are the things you need to be looking out for? Sure, so first kind of examples of elder abuse are certainly neglect by others uh, or exploitation. When we think of exploitation, we think of primarily of financial exploitation, uh, but then also uh, forms of abuse, emotional, physical, and sexual. So when we're looking for signs of elder abuse uh, among you know, family members, neighbors, folks in our communities, uh, things that you would want to be looking for are things like unexplained injuries or unexplained changes in behaviors. Uh, when it comes to especially financial exploitation, uh, unpaid bills, new credit cards, increased cash withdrawals, uh, those kinds of things are would yeah. all be things to look out for uh, for potential victimization around elder abuse. So you look for the signs, maybe you see something that you're not comfortable with. What is the next step you take? Yeah, anyone can report elder abuse by calling our hotline, which is 1-855-OHIO-APS. That's 1-855-OHIO-APS. Callers don't have to provide uh, proof of the allegation, uh, and they can choose to remain anonymous. So whether it's the individual uh, who uh, feels that they are experiencing uh, abuse or whether it's someone who sees uh, some of those signs of elder abuse and wants to report that someone else is being victimized, mm -hmm. they can call it one 8 by, by Ohio APS. Okay, and as far as preventing this, uh, I know obviously you want to be looking out for things, but you don't even want to get to that step. You want to say, hey, I want to stop this before it even begins. So how do you do that? Yeah, so certainly for our uh, our friends and neighbors uh, in Ohio who are over the age of 60 uh, and in that in that population of senior citizens, there's a lot of resources across the state, including our area agencies on aging. A lot of municipalities have senior centers. Those are tremendous resources to connect, to get assistance, uh, to learn how to protect yourself. Uh, and then also for family members, I think it's an important role that we can play uh, in our senior members of our family to ask questions, stay engaged. Even if you're far away, there's lots of opportunities, especially around uh, financial victimization of being able to, you know, check up on bank accounts and those kinds of things to make sure that our family members are protected. Yeah. Well, Matt, we appreciate you taking the time. What was that website? Uh, the telephone number is 1-855-OHIO-APS. Okay, there you go. As simple as that. Call that number if you sus suspect anything. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time.